Guess what I just heard? When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play! Come on, you know what I mean? Sorry, I got ahead of myself. What I mean is... I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back! Look, don't make me spell it out! Anyway, I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? So I got you this. Want to get your license with me, partner? Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget, but at least that'll let us get to new places. Don't you think we deserve that much seeing as how we're investigating the case? What's up, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip, you guys busy right now? Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help. No, we're not bringing a war. What does that mean, anyway? We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already... Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Eh, a bike's all I need for that. In any case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. Up-close-and-personal? What does that mean? Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle. And then... And then... A girlfriend. Now that's my partner. All right then. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. I forgot about that. Shut up, this'll work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up-close-and-personal plan really starts. Up-close-and-personal? Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. we got to take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. What, fe feral zone? No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Pheromones? Dude, that's how a perv would react. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Got it. Not you, I don't even know your uncle. I'm serious about this. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! Man, somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. 
Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Ah, you're back. Hi there. You want some meal, too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Well, excuse me. It's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Don't be stupid. But eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eely proud of her daddy. <laughs> Did my joke slip away? It is an eel, after all. Just eat your dinner. Y yes, sir. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. What's the matter? A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he once went out here. I understand how you feel, since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Right? It's criminal. You say that, but... That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. It's me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. About this license, did you decide on this yourself? No one talked you into it. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? I'm sure I can trust you to do that, but allowing you to get one is another thing. Don't give me that face. I know you're serious about this. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house.
passed on the first try, just like we planned. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. Hi, are you on duty? We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? Already? I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Oh well. Looks like I'd better think of a way to convince my sister. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes! You got the okay! I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. I'm letting you have it. You can tell? The local shops don't carry twist grips, so I had one of the repair guys at work help me out with it in secret. Uh, don't tell anyone that, okay? Always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back streets, too, so a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Well, anyway, I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Good. I'll hold you to that. <laughs>